ago, Dr. William Masters and Virginia Johnson published their book, Human Sexual Response, a Landmark in Sex Research. Since then, they've continued their work at the Masters and Johnson Institute in St. Louis. They've also written other bestsellers about sexual behavior. Their new book is called Sex and Human Loving. The co-author is Dr. Robert Kolodny, who collaborated on five previous Masters and Johnson books. And it's nice to have you all with us this morning. Thank you. From all these studies, you've really taken a look at, at where human sexual relationships stand now and where you think they're going to be going in, in the future. Let's talk about a few things that have an effect on this. And we'll start with AIDS. I mean, AIDS is, we all know the devastating effect now of AIDS. Are we going to see more new diseases like this, do you think? In all probability, John. Really? Uh, why? No one really knows where AIDS came from originally uh, in terms of uh, why it suddenly became uh, epidemic almost. Uh, certainly other infectious diseases are going to come out of the woodwork. Uh, for instance, uh, herpes is now running wild and uh, uh, they just, until we can develop a little better, a little more rapid control uh, of these diseases, we're going to have to contend with them. And how do you see this affecting sexual relationships? Well, I think casual relationships are going to be given a great deal of, of consideration. In other words, before people enter one, they're, I think they're terribly conscious now of the possibility of uh, contracting a disease. I think there's going to be more interest in the one-to-one -one relationships. We tried to, I guess, prepare ourselves and everyone else for this concept about 15 years ago when we had the pleasure bond. That was one of our first offering to the general public when the concept of one-to-one -one relationships really had more to give. It and really we'll see less promiscuity. Then. Much less promiscuity and more commitment. All right, thinking of commitment, how will it affect you?